Hello and welcome everyone to another day of our Road to 2000 series. We're going to continue on. If you haven't seen the last few episodes, I've been playing E4 with the white pieces. Now, I'm going to stay with my same opening for black. But with the white pieces, I've been trying to do something a little different. And it's been kind of working. Like, recently, it's been doing okay. Past couple, at least, that I've tried with, like, limited knowledge I have about these openings. But with the black, I think we're just going to stick with what we know for now. And we're going to go for this Pyrk defense. Um, maybe knight here. I think I'm just going to go with this. I've been doing something like c6 a lot with bishop out knight here, but I think I like the knight here when this square isn't very powerful. So I think we're going to do this. Maybe go here and target this pawn. So I could go knight back in here, or knight up here and here. That could be an option. I haven't been doing that lately, because a lot of the times the goal is to attack over here in advance, but I haven't been doing that as much. So maybe I go here, could also jump in here, takes, has, knight has to come back, and then I do this anyways. And then I control this square. I kind of like that. Jump in, if takes, takes, knight force come back, and then I can move with the bishop defending, and then maybe go something like c5, as well as f5. Let's just do that. Let's control this square, and if takes, take, and then I can go for this anyways. Okay, well, now I'm going to... I'm going to take this knight, we're going to take this pawn, and then I might just go for this bishop. Yeah, so he has to either go back or I'm going to trade it. And then I might go f5. Let's go f5. Let's open this file to be towards each other. Let's just try to get things, things moving along here with some attack. So takes, um, I could take, I'm going to take with the bishop. Actually, that got me forked. Why did I do that? Ooh, am I dumb? I just walked into a fork. He literally just played g4. Like, he can just play g4. Oh, he can't. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's slide back then. Unless I want to go here. Oh, wait, not there. That, that would lose immediately. Um, I'm still looking at this check. Sacking to open up at some point. But either way, I'm going to move back first. So that there's no fork that was very obvious, but apparently not. Um, let's go queen e7, just so my rooks are connected. I'm kind of pinning myself, but that's okay. There's nothing to pin, be pinned to yet. Did he just do the same move? Yeah, he did. Why is he trying to draw? Like what? I'm just gonna trade rooks. Why is he trying to draw already? <laughs> okay, let's just trade rooks. Knight can't go anywhere, so maybe let's just try to trade it. I can go here, but I'm just going to go here and threaten to win this pawn. Yeah. Also, this has been hanging, I'm pretty sure, for a while. So let's just, like, I'm pretty sure there's been a lot of moves other than, like, the trading. Yeah, like, he could have just, okay, no, it wasn't actually that long because I traded and then he moved. And then he could have taken there, but he decided not to. Okay, so, I don't know. Let's just get rid of this bishop. Let's go to a queen and bishop endgame. This is a quick game. We're just going to trade everything, apparently. I'd like to win, though. So I'd like to go for a winning position. I don't want to just draw, because I've been getting too many draws lately. So trade. I have a check here. I'm looking at here. I'm looking at this square, potentially, too. See, I don't want to trade, though. But I also don't want the queen to come in. I could go here. Like, the queen doesn't have any squares right now to go to. So let's go here. There's no like discovered tax or anything. I'm looking at a check. He really doesn't want to. He really wants to trade the queen. If he blocks, that's good. But let's go here. I can always come back here with this check. I'm still looking at this pawn. I don't know. Give a check here. I need to find a winning position, winning tactic here or something. Let's go here. Let's go d5. He might just block it in. Hmm. Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to take because then this pawn might become a pass pawn. Maybe go queen here. Let's do that. Takes, I think I take with the pawn. Maybe, maybe the pawn instead of the queen. Actually, I'm going to take with the queen because I threaten this and I keep these together. And I'm also looking at this. Let's go here. Looking at these. And then here. And now I think I can win the pawn with the bishop. He might go here, but I think I just go for this. 
just want to make sure he doesn't have tactics like or ways to get in quickly so my queen's covering diagonal my king so there's no checks yeah so he goes there so what is he trying to do trying to get in like he can't have a check i'm gonna take with the bishop probably he might go here but i think i can always come back to like this square and defend so we're gonna go take i also have this check always take he's he wants to give a check here check check if here check and check if here no i don't want to give that check oh here wait so check if here i think i go wait i wait i think yeah because then i can go here and win his bishop yeah yeah that was a mistake so i think that works yeah because he can just block but i'm just going to take the bishop and then i'm going to try to trade the queens yeah so he can give some checks but i can block because my bishop and queen are defending each other and he can't win this pawn and then i'm gonna look for a check and check here yeah so check and then check here i can take this pawn but i'm gonna go check and then take here so i'm threatening me and trying to force a queen trade and yeah he has he has a check here but i don't think he has any other ones there's no more checks and i'm now threatening me so I'm pretty sure he has to sack the queen somehow because there's no more checks. He can't check here. He can't check here. And I'm blocked off from this diagonal. So that's a nice win there. We got some tricks. We got some tactics. He might just uh, sack the queen or resign because there's nothing else. There's no way to stop this unless you sack the queen. Yeah. So I'm just going to go here. Let's make this simple. Cut the king off. Easy endgame tactic. Knight opposition to the king. To keep him locked off um here he has to go here and then we go here and then i can go boom boom and then checkmate and that is a nice win there today let's actually go for a second game back to back so let's go for two in a row we get the white pieces so we're gonna play e4 i've been playing e4 a couple times and it's fun to just play without knowing what to do so a sicilian which i have no idea how to play against so we're just gonna go i don't know knight f3 knight c3 Let's just go knight f3, and then let's go, let's go like d4, I think. You're supposed to go d4, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know what, what's good here. And then knight c3, I'm pretty sure. Do I take? Or do I pin? I think maybe I pin, because I'm threatening to win the pawn. I don't know how to play this Sicilian at all. So, um, I think I'm just going to castle, because there's no tactics. Because if I take, I take first. So we're just going to castle. Okay, well now I'm going to take with the knight. If he takes with the bishop, I'm going to take because he's attacking this. I don't know how to put this Sicilian at all, so this is this is going to be a fun time. Yeah, so he takes. So we're going to take back with check. And then I don't want to proceed. Like, do I want to... I could trade everything, but I don't think I want to do that. I want to keep this bishop, I think. Maybe like here. Although I feel like it doesn't do much. Um, let's go maybe queen e2. Maybe I go queen d3. I think I like queen e2. Just to get the queen out, move the bishop, and then I can move these rooks here to the center somewhere. I could also go like here, and then if he's doing a fianchetto, maybe here to threaten this pawn. I think let's just put the bishop here for now. I think I like it there. I'm not sure where the... Rook is supposed to go here, so I don't actually know. He might just go here, in which case I could go b3, but then there might be a tactic here with winning the knight. Maybe I go rook e1, and then I try to push. Could be an option. If he castles, maybe I go here. I kind of wasted a queen move, though, if, he ends up, if I end up going on this square. If he castles, I could go queen here and then try to get the bishop here like a battery. But I'm not sure what my goal is. That's the problem. I don't know the ideas of the sicilian so i don't know what i'm trying to do i don't even know if they're playing the sicilian right okay so he moves the knight back so we open this diagonal so maybe i go queen here or maybe i could just go queen e3 because i don't want to double these pawns and 
I can always go for this, I think. So I would want to save myself from doubled pawns. And then I'm also looking at the battery as well, if he decides to castle. Because I think I'm just going to take the bishop, if he does. Okay, so he goes there. Do I want to just kick it out? And then maybe, like, f4 and then f5 and try to open this? So what is this plan? Here? c4? g4? Like, if I kick it out and I go here, I could go h4, h5. I don't know. He wants to go one of these two places, and I don't know why. Like, is he trying to win this pawn, maybe? If I move the knight right now, that could be an option, because there is no bishop staring here. Maybe I move the knight. Hmm, because if I do this, then he's going to go here, threaten this pawn, and the bishop reopens. I kind of like this, though. So I'm, I'm guessing he's going to go here. I'm going to end up probably doubling my pawns, which I think I'm okay with. Could also go here, but I don't think that's good. I have a way for my bishop to escape still, which is fine, because I can go here and here. I don't know what their plan is. Like, I'm not sure what they're going to do. They haven't castled it, which is interesting. Yeah, so I expected that. So I can go here to defend this, because I have to move my queen. I can't go here. And if I go here, then I'm just going to get forked. Let's go here. I'm okay if they double my pawns. It's fine. It's not ideal, but... If he doesn't take, then I'm just going to move this knight right out of the way. Actually, if I move the knight out of the way, then he can win this pawn. Hmm. Okay, then I'm going to... I could go here, though, to defend the pawn. No, I think I'm going to do this. Oh, but if I do that, then... Oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. So he's threatening to win the pawn. Because if I go here, I can't defend all of it. I can go here to defend one, but he has three attackers. I think I'm just going to go knight a4. He's going to win the pawn. But I just don't want more pressure here. And then I might go like e5. Just to try and block things in. Because if he doesn't take the pawn right now, I'm going b3 and kicking this knight out. Can go here, but I'm just going to take. Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, should just take. I expect the rook to take. Because I don't think the bishop is really useful taking. Because I'm just going to move and then try opening this up immediately. Okay, yeah, so then I'm just... Eh, that's a pin, but... Let's just go here. I can always go rook b1. And then I think I want to go like... Do I want to go f5 or e5? What's better here? It still hasn't castled. Which I'm trying to exploit, but I don't know how. I could go bishop here just to stop the bishop from going back. If he doesn't go back, I might go bishop... <sighs> I could go bishop h6. If the bishop doesn't go back, I think I'm going to go bishop h6. It stops castling, and the bishop can no longer go here. And then play like e4. e5, I mean. And I'm up on time by a minute, over almost two minutes, which is actually really good. Okay. So, check. Slide back. I don't see a goal here. I might do this. If he still doesn't castle, I might go e5. Because if he takes, I'm pretty sure that's a big mistake. Because I have this check here and maybe tactics. I don't know. I think he should move the bishop back here. And then castle. Or castle right now. But if he castles right now, I'm pinning. For sure. Yeah, so he goes back. So I actually can't attack right now because I'm pinned. But I think I want to do e5. I'm looking at this check here, potential, just to stop him from castling. So if he doesn't take or anything, then I'm just going to um, take back and win a pawn again. Because we're up two and a half minutes now, so this is actually really good for me. Down to three minutes. He's up a pawn, but I feel like my king's a lot safer than his. And I'm trying to just bust his open. I could go e6 if he doesn't take, but I think it's better to just take and win the pawn back. Yeah, because if he takes it all, then there's this check and then this check here. Which is, like, totally dead lost. Well, not really, because at the same time, he's covering this square twice. So I don't know. It's, I don't know what the best solution is here. Okay, so he blocks it in. That's also an option. What's a good option here? What's a game plan? Bring the bishop back here? Try to trade queens? I don't think I want to trade queens. F f5 to try and go f6 because if he takes then i'm just gonna go here i kind of like that so maybe here and then 
prepare the move f5 because they're down to almost under two minutes okay so he locks it in i wonder if that's good for him or not maybe you go h4 h5 or g g4 we're getting really aggressive but i think i'm okay on this diagonal let's just go for it let's just attack let's go f g4 so we can prepare f5 and potentially, maybe, like, maybe it's a good idea to trade queens, but at the same time, I don't know. He still isn't castled, which is crazy. But he still can, which is also crazy. Like, still has the ability to castle this whole time. Okay, so trading queens. Let's just do it. And then, let's go here. Because he hasn't castled. And if his rook moves, I just give a check here. And it's lost for him, so I think he has to trade and then castle. Yeah, but can I do Yeah, but can I do dig and whatever he takes with I just strike back here or here or go here? I think that's good for me, is it not? Because can I not just do whatever he takes with? I gotta think. Yeah, so here here, and if he takes I just immediately target it. So here and then I expect him to castle now, like, at the, yeah, <laughs> like 30 moves into the game, castle Great is crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to go here and get my bishop to here, because this is a very good square. Um, check is fine. I'm not worried about it. Check doesn't do much, because I'm still threatening to win this. I could double the pawns, Hmm. but I think I'm going to bring my king. Um, let's just take, and then, let's go here, he has this move, let's try and win here, do I want to double and then wrap around, if I go here, and he takes, then, I think I like that, because takes, then I can target them, and he can't defend, and if he doesn't take, then I just target it, let's put a, um, pawn on light square here, just so the bishop doesn't have any targets. Um, let's just take that. And then go here. Because we could flag here, potentially, too. Let's go up above. And then I think I'm just going to take it. Or maybe just lock it in. Let's just do this. I think I like that. It kind of solidifies his structure. But at the same time, we're up, on, we're up a bunch on time. I don't know if he can convert the endgame. Let's wrap around and give a check over here. Let's go here, and then we're going to go bishop e5. Okay, well now I just take the pawn, and then I take this. Okay, well now we're definitely doing good, because I can go here, and then go over here. Because I think I'm just going to go here, and then hide over here. Okay. It's drawn, I'm pretty sure, but... I have a huge time advantage right now. Let's go over here. Wrap around. Okay, let's get behind it. And then we start pushing this pawn. Um, um, I don't know. Ah. The king can't get in, though. Yep, that's what I wanted. So now I go for this pawn. Yeah, but now I just push. He can take, but then I'm just going to try and flag. Yeah, because I uh, he only has five seconds, so now I'm just going to flag him. Okay, well now I just win the game because, yeah. Well, there we go. We got two, two wins back to back. That one took a lot longer than I thought it would, but we got there in the end. We're almost at our peak. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.